The lady at the sandwich shop today was like, that'll be 420, love. Would you like it toasted? And I nodded and said, blaze it. And the guy working the sandwich toaster lost it. You're not fake simply because you act differently depending on the person you're with. Different personalities bring out different aspects of your personality. You're complex and multidimensional. It's beautiful. In anthropology, this is called code switching, and it is a completely natural thing that pretty much everyone does. AKA, it's this is called being adult and learning how to interact with different groups of people. I. I've been cooking for myself for a decade, and I today, just now, for the very first time, found out the difference between virgin and regular olive. And that difference is important. Virgin has more flavor, better in salads, you know. And regular has a high burning point and is better used for cooking. I have burned so many dishes because I use virgin oil to cook when I used to have been using regular. Go, you gotta stop sacrificing the virgins just for cooking. Well, excuse me for being on board the flavor train! Until I was 12, I was vegan because my parents were too. And one time in like my fifth grade science class, we had to draw pictures of carnivores, omnivores, herbivores, you get the idea. And like five kids drew a picture of me for herbivore. And that was the moment I realized I hated public school. King Arthur was supposed to arise when the world's need was greatest, so wakey wakey, someone knock on his tomb or something. Inside the flower company supplying America's sudden baking obsession. How King Arthur Flower found itself in the unlikely crosshairs of a pandemic. I hate fate rules. The only objective way to measure the quality of any character creation in games is, CAN I MAKE WALUIGI IN THIS? Wah. Wah never changes. Do you ever memorize a person's voice? Like you can construct a sentence in your mind that that person's never said, and yet you hear them say it. Is that a thing people can do? Yeah. There are people that can't do that? We are the chosen few. We have a great power. Fear. One of my favorite threats is you're not invited to my birthday party anymore. From ages 4 to 11, it's one of the most heinous things you could say. Then 12 through 17, it's just embarrassing, because teens think that is the most childish thing to say. But from 18 onward, it only gets more and more effective. If only because it confuses the person you're speaking to. It's like a verbal smoke bomb. It catches them off guard and disorients them to the point that they might not even know how to react. Street smarts! You know the thing where Red Pandas just lay down on a branch and let their legs hang out and they're just like vibing? They're just vibing, you know? Man, I want to be Red Panda. I said to my little sister, gods don't die, and my brother ran up to me and whispered in my ear, some do, like he knew for sure. He's six. I'm so fucking frightened for my life. Update, I put him to bed and said goodnight, and he replied, it won't last. And I'm fully convinced he's far more powerful than any other human being. Hey, here's a fun fact for all my followers who follow me. Butter, ice cream, milk, and cheese all come from the same animal. I can't remember which animal it is right now, but I know for sure it's the same one. I'll give you a hint. It moves. Ah, thanks. Yeah, it was the moose. Kanye West, I'm running for president. All of us who have already gotten used to 2020's fuckery. You know those days when you're like, this might as well happen? A very intimidating middle class family is staring me down in Panera Bread because I put mac and cheese on my baguette. Update! I told them that staring is rude and I would eat anything on this baguette, including their small child. I'm sorry, what? It's a cupcake. It's a cupcake. God damn it. There were no cases of autism before 1930. Yeah, Mount Everest wasn't discovered till 1856, but I'm sure the fucking mountain still existed. Replace every vowel in your URL with oob. Or even just your name. My roommate's name is Joanne, so her name is now Jaboobdanoob. And she's on the floor. Today I learned of the most famous person ever to have literally been in a pickle is Horatio Nelson. He died at sea. So the surgeon on board pickled his body in brandy to preserve it for the long trip to England. Two weeks into the journey, gaseous pressure bursts the cask lid, making Nelson rise from the dead. <laughs> Funniest shit I've ever seen. There is only one gender, and it's mine. Y'all can't have it. Hey, Mom says it's my turn on the gender. Yo, lads now available, my dudes. Uh-oh, Julius, looks like you've skipped your Latin class. Hmm, you know what that means. I'm at a work meeting. And this absolute bastard of a man is eating an apple, bottom down core and all. Just fucking crunching away like that's how humans eat apples. There's fucker. And how I describe my mood. 